Hello everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to parallel park a tractor trailer. Here at Driving Academy we pride ourselves in making the difficult things very simple and easy to understand so you can execute. That's why we have broken this actual maneuver into six simple, easy to follow steps. Now when you're thinking of the, about this the first time is, why would anybody ever want to parallel park a tractor trailer? So the truth is, unless you're delivering a lot of local stuff in the city, uh, so like New York City, Manhattan, stuff like that, then you're really never really going to have to parallel park a tractor trailer. However, if you want to get yourself a CDL license, you're most definitely going to want to know how to parallel park a tractor trailer because that's part of the road test itself. And that's why we teach our students to learn how to parallel park so then they can pass the test and get their license so then they can get themselves on the road to freedom. So if you notice, boom, I can't show you everything. We've broken down into six steps and we have an exact formula on exactly what you're going to have to do in order to parallel park successfully. This whole curriculum and this whole cheat sheet is actually given to all of our students so they can take home with them and study when they're not uh, with us. And then we actually break down each step individually in our own training yard. Our school is located in Linden, New Jersey. We offer training seven days a week, which means when it comes to your CDL training, we could work around your schedule. But let's get into this step-by-step -step process on how to parallel park a tractor trailer. So on this, this example, we're going to show you how to parallel park a tractor trailer to the driver's side. Over here, you're going to have to know how to do it both, the driver's side and the passenger side. So if you talk about step number one, step number one, uh, if you look at this diagram right over here, it says you're going to have to pull up. Keep the tractor and trailer straight. That's extremely important. Make sure that the trailer tire is two feet away from the top cone. So if you notice on this diagram here, that's pretty much what you're doing. The big things that you have to watch out for is make sure that your tractor and trailer is 100% straight. If you pull up crooked, it's not going to work. So you want to make sure that that's correct. So in this case, you want to make sure that your uh, driver's side trailer tire is two feet away from that top cone there. And you want to be in line uh, with that cone itself. Once you're straight, now you are ready to actually start the maneuver. And, and as long as you set yourself up correctly, that means the rest of the maneuver is going to be very simple. So let's move on to step number two. So step number two, uh, you're going to have to turn the wheel all the way to the right. Then you're going to have to back up after two feet inside of the back cone. So what do I mean by that? If you look at this diagram here, you're going to get out of the passenger side, out of the driver's side. You're going to look down the side of the driver's side trailer and you want to make sure that that imaginary line is pointing two feet inside of that center cone. And this explains everything in the diagram. This is probably the most important uh, move of this whole thing. If you get this right, everything else gets a lot easier. If you mess this thing up, then it's going to make them a lot more difficult for you. So the main secret is step two in this whole parallel parking maneuver. Now let's move on to step three. Wait, before we move on to step three, did you know that if you want to get more in-depth training on this maneuver plus other maneuvers, you can actually become a student here at Japan Academy? And if you're too far away, you can become a virtual student. If you want to learn more about it, just click on the link below, cdldrivingacademy.com forward slash tour. There's a video that's going to answer every single question you have about how our program works. It's also going to break down pricing and it might even offer you a discount depending on when you click on a link. So click on the link now, figure out what is the best option for you, and then you can get this training plus so much more that's coming in very soon. All right, so let's get into step number three. Step number three, now that you're, you completed step two, you got out and look, right? If you notice that acronym goal, now step number three, we're going to do turn the wheel all the way to the left, back up, stop when the tractor and trailer is straight and flush. And then we see that word goal again. Goal stands for get out and look. Now, some pointers on this one. Make sure that the tractor trailer is 100% straight and flush. If it is not, it's going to mess up the rest of your maneuver, right? So we definitely don't want that to happen. All right, now step number four.